Welcome to another Wired Wednesday with Tech and Tina. Today we're looking at a very simple stop motion animation creator that the kids love. It's very simple to use called iMotion. If you are on an iPad that I set up, this would be found in the presentation folder. It looks like this little camera here. It's actually a free app for the basic version and otherwise it's $1.99 gets you some extra features. The little pink stop motion icon you see there is a much more advanced app. And as I learn more about that one, I'll share it with you. In the meantime, iMotion is very simple and easy for kids to use. So I'm just opening up the app here. And if I look at some that are already created, let me go to my movies here. So there you go. See, it's just a very simple, that's just some quick examples I was showing other kids. Here's one that a student made. He wanted to have these little chess guys talking to each other. Then they got happy and they went away happy. Okay, so just, it's just very, very, those are just simple little things. Some kids have made some pretty phenomenal um, movies with this. Okay, so once you get started, you click on the new movie, and give your movie a title. I'm going to call this one Flower. Now you see that it's, by default, it's set on time lapse. You want to change that to say manual. Sorry, my screen is flickering there. I'm not too sure why that is. Anyway, I'm going to stick it on manual, and then just press the start button. Okay. Uh, oh, the other options there, one of them, the remote one, was to actually do stop motion using another device to take the photos, and the microphone one was to um, have it take photos every time there's some sound. So maybe you want to set it up like a spy cam or something. All right, so I'm just going to do a drawing of a flower here, and every time I do something, I'm just going to hit capture to take the picture. The stop motion is just a bit of motion, take the picture, a bit of movement, take the picture, a bit of movement, take the picture. Okay, so I'm just going to start to draw my flower here. Now the smaller your bits, the better, smoother it looks afterwards. These are pretty big drawing pieces. Um, again, I've had students make stop motion using Lego, Tech Decks, My Little Pony, Pet Shops. Uh, puppets, their own bodies. Had somebody sitting on the floor, uh, cross-legged, and then scooting around. Uh, the, the scoot, take a picture. Scoot some more, take a picture. Scoot some more, take a picture. As a result, it makes the impossible look possible. It makes it look like they're scooting around, sliding just on the floor. Okay. Ideally, you want the kids to work in partners for this. So one person do the movement, the other person take the picture. Uh, I've had kids love to work in threes or fours even doing this. They'll make backgrounds, they'll make props, they'll make storyboards in advance. So that way they have an actual plan. You know, draw out the process. Give them some playtime with it. But after that, draw out the process. Okay, we've done this as a buddy activity recently with our big buddies at another school from uh, big buddies from the middle school. I'm just going to put just a couple others. I've got a bit of a stem on this here. Oh, so color challenge flower of mine. And the last one. In this one, I'm going to leave my hand in the photo. And I'm going to show you how to remove that afterwards. Okay. Now, if you see um, at the top, it says images 37. I've got 37 pictures so far. I've had kids make these with hundreds and hundreds of photos. My first one that I did was about 900 photos. Okay, so stop, stop twice, and now it starts to play it back. It just keeps looping it over and over again. Now, at the bottom, you see when I tap the screen, I get this toggle shows up for my speed. I can slow it down, or I can go super speed. Also, if I tap on, tap on the Tools button, and um, now I just press the Play button just now to make it actually stop. Now I'm going to press the Fast Forward a bunch of times until I get to the frame with my hand in it. There it is. Now I'm going to touch the little, looks like a Polaroid camera with a minus. That's going to delete that photo. So now I've effectively taken my hand, the photo with my hand, out of the picture. So one of the big questions now at this point is, what do I do with it after I've made my video? Okay, I'm going to tap on the export, 
I'm going to actually, I can choose to go to the photo library or to iTunes. If I have the free version, those are my only options. If you purchase it for $1.99, it opens up the other options. And then with my class, what I did, I actually started a YouTube class account. And that was a massive motivator. The only thing with that is you cannot have student photos or student names. So just to keep that in mind or else you're breaking FOIPA. Anyway, that's about it for stop motion. Happy creating and enjoy.